Can I get your opinion on the COVID thing? Because uh, you've been very outspoken about this. I think one of the things, because you said when you were in the army, you were getting jabs, boom, 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 mandates. That's one of the biggest things. You know, you've said openly on the podcast, your father got the vax. And so did Melva, I believe. But that's not something that you stood for. I think it was the mandates and the painting with broad strokes where if you're old and you're unhealthy and you have comorbidities, yeah, go get and get the, get the jab. But then you see the slippery slope of like, now we need elementary school kids getting the jab. It's like, now you need to go get your 12th booster. Thanks, yeah. guy. So where do you draw the line on this? What's your take on this? whole? Because I remember when yeah. our, our other friend over here got very sick because of COVID. Um, you, I mean, I saw you lost 20 pounds from it because it, it wasn't the flu, but right. the mandates, uh, I mean, I still can't smell. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. But how, where do you stand on this? No, I listen. My question is, I'm coming from a place of curiosity. I know you're like RFK. Yeah. We've had RFK on multiple yeah. times. We talk about a lot of different things. He is more paranoid on the way vaccines were used yeah. during COVID. And a lot of parents are concerned about that. I'll tell you a couple of things on what I think happened with this, because go to the next one, right? I mean, mm. if if Bill Gates really wanted to sell people on his, let's just say he's got a depopulation or there's people that yeah. believe that he Which does. Which he let's says, just, openly says. Yeah, a lot of people, people say the concern is there's too many people. And by the way, other people we've had on the podcast have said this, yeah. right? Yeah. Openly that they think there's too many people. If that's the case, I mean, you can go use scripture and say the Bible says a third of you know people will die and there's going to be such a famine that's going to show up that a third of people could die so bill gates could be a preacher and try to spin that and get people to start kind of thinking about that but for me i think a lot was revealed they tried to accelerate the process of control very quickly the last four years you saw that with what uh, some of the things world economic forum was doing and i'm convinced the right people are not going to let that happen it's just not going to happen mm -hmm. they're going to try to do it as much as possible the only thing that we have to be careful with is the following, is this, this, this thing goes away, people are no longer that curious to know if China was behind COVID. Why? Because it's yesterday's headache yep. and we've moved on, right? So it's kind of like, like, you know, the line that Hillary Clinton uses, like when I talked to Anthony Weiner, what, what does she say? What's the big deal? What, what's the you ever seen when she said that the when the past is in the past the past is in the past and she's like what difference, what does, difference it does it make yeah. right what difference does it make now but they are banking on majority of the people saying what difference does it make and i don't think that's the right thing by the way if trump does get elected and none of those findings come out then guess what and you didn't fulfill your campaign commitments 100 percent. if you're going to go out there and saying these people are going to be held accountable mm -hmm. well you better pull it off because that's a lot of what america wants to know because if it doesn't happen next time around COVID comes around if we make the same mistakes again it's people's fault it's the leaders fault. are they still selling the boosters and stuff oh, oh yeah oh, oh. I, but are that, they oh, yeah. that i like <laughs> i like that <laughs> As just somebody as a Business. fan of Mark, let, let's be honest, as a fan of Mark, now this thing hasn't really worked in the way that anyone thought <laughs> yeah. it was going to work. And they're still out there and they go, we've got a new one. And I love it. And by the way, no one, the terms and the COVID and the, the things they call COVID are confusing. And the new strains are all the time popping up. Are you up to date with all the boosters? Have, are you on the seventh no, one or the no, eighth I one? Got, I got the, the first two shots because I had to, I would, I was touring as a comedian. Like, you can't do it. If Mandates. Got to get into the UK. Is that the whole space? You couldn't do it if you weren't. Uh, couldn't do it. Couldn't go to couldn't, Canada. You couldn't go to Canada. You couldn't go to UK. You couldn't do New York City. How about in the States? The, the New big York place. Couldn't do it. LA. LA, LA New York. LA, LA people, comedians well known that we both know were like Vinny. Well, Do you have a fake card, a vaccine card even, that I could get? Even I venues got in right, you know, red states, even venues in red states, if they were, you know, a lot of them would still require you to have the thing. So I got the first two, but I never got any boosters. But I know people with the boosters and the boosters. To me, it's it's an, the ultimate comedy is that, like, you know, it didn't really work and it didn't, you know, do the thing that they said it was going to do. Um the only thing now, they go, well, you would have been dead. That's like the last thing that, you know, in the beginning, they're like, you won't get it. Then they're like, well, you will get it. You won't get sick. Then they go, no, you'll get it and get sick, but you won't get that sick. And then they go, no, 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 you'll get it. You'll get sick. And it'll probably be really bad, but you won't die. That was the last, the last yeah. thing they had left. So the fact that they're still selling it three years later, that Pfizer is still going, let's, yeah. let's do it. Let's yeah. bring it to market. To me, I think that's how they're. 
And and can you imagine, like people walking in and want and still wanting this, going in and going, can I get a booster? And the people at Wall, you know, like Walmart or wherever the hell mm -hmm. they're getting these things, the pharmacy at CVS are like going, what? And they go, no, no, I want a COVID booster. <laughs> In 2024. Well, if you got hot 90-year-olds in Palm Beach, they no, got to yeah. stay fit, well, they well, got to well, stay firm, they got to well, stay friendly. Well, if you got